My name is Kendall York, and I have a vascular anomaly. Um, so what it is, is um, I have in the uh, lower left leg, I have a bunch of extra veins in my leg, and um, they, they serve no purpose, so there's just kind of some blood just sitting in them, and it clots up real big and everything. So it kind of affects me in sports because um, if I'm running and using that muscle a lot, the muscle fibers will actually tear, and um, that hurts pretty bad, <laughs> and uh, you know, then scar tissue replaces it, the problem just gets worse. Um, so I, I had started playing hockey when I was in kindergarten, um, and I played for 10 years. And uh, so I first started having problems with my leg when I was in second grade, but um, it wasn't really that bad then, it's just gotten worse, because um, as you grow, so does the vascular anomaly. And so as I've gotten older, it's just gotten worse, which is also I've gotten more intense with sports. Um, so I kind of had, it kind of became apparent that I needed to just quit playing hockey and, you know, running for, you know, just to stay in shape, run a few miles or whatever. Um, when I would go to hockey practice and I would come home and it would be just be like my leg was real big, it was swollen up and I was trying to put, um, you know, lidocaine patches on it and everything like that and nothing, nothing was really helping it um, and I would come home from hockey practice and I'd be out for like, you know, especially if we had a tournament that weekend, I mean, I would be out for like the next week or two. Um, from doing a lot of different things that, um, you know, just like hanging out with friends and stuff because my leg would be hurting so bad. So, um, just like a lot of people, when I was playing hockey, I was using weightlifting just like a lot of football players do. Um, it wasn't its own sport, but it was supplementing my sport that I played. Um, and once I had to quit hockey, um, I just kept doing the same thing and um, just gradually over time I was like, you know, I just started realizing that I just wanted to get better at that. And, um, you know, so I just started increasing my gym time, started going every day, started going longer for every day, and um, it just kind of evolved into really a full-time sport for me. So I also started the weightlifting club at the school. Um, and the reason that I started it was because um, doing competitive powerlifting is something that I find really enjoyable. Um, and it's not really a common sport, like you don't hear about many, you know, guys going to powerlifting competitions, but um, it's really, it's really fun, it's kind of a, it's, it's a completely different experience than playing another sport, like, like, you know, hockey or football or something, you know, you're not out there competing against other people, um, you know, hitting other guys, it's not a contact sport or anything, but um, it's, you kind of compete against yourself, you push yourself um, to new limits, and you compete against records, and um, it's just really constructive for a really constructive experience. So um, when I had to quit playing hockey, it wasn't obviously something I was happy about. Um, but for me personally, becoming you know sad and you know sitting around feeling bad for myself because of my leg has never really been something that I've done because the way I see it, if I'm sitting around all day, then you know, feeling bad for myself, I mean, that's just gonna suck because I'm just sitting around, I'm not doing anything, you know? Can't get anything accomplished and it doesn't solve anything if I'm doing that, so. I mean, uh, so my advice if you suffer an injury or have a condition that prevents you from playing any other sports is um, just try and find something else that, that you can do. And, you know, it all comes down to basically what's worth it how much are you willing to sacrifice to do something? And if you just can't, you, f you know, you just decide that it's not worth it to do something, then there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there. And uh, if you just commit to it and in the beginning and uh, just give it 100%, then uh, I think you'll come to appreciate it, enjoy it even more than maybe what you were doing before.